Hello, my little munchkins, my little cones, and my sunflowers. Well, how are you? And I hope you had a glorious Friday. Well, as for Marylanders, I know I did. Baby Crone and I went out today. We had a marvelous day. The temperatures were what, babe? The temperature today was actually 70. See, that's that fickle Maryland weather. You see, it could be 70 today and 43 tomorrow. It, sure will it could be misty and raining or who knows? It could be a little sleet. If not that, don't worry. We got you covered. It could be foggy. Yes, it could be that. But one of the things that I have noticed about being in the state of Maryland, let me knock on wood. I noticed that the winters are not as snowy as they used to be when I was a child. So um, I know that there is something going on in the atmosphere. If those don't believe in weather, what is it? Weather, global warming. oh, if you don't believe in global warming. But for those that don't, I do because I can see it all around me. Well, with that being said, of course, I want to talk about Scott Disick. He's getting thin. And their word is on the curve is that uh, he's pining over court, Chloe. Well, let me say it this Courtney. way. Courtney, you had her. You had all of her. You had her mind, her body, her soul, and you mistreated her. I know when you're young. I know we make a lot of dumb mistakes when we're young. We really do. And unfortunately, we pay when we owe. Hear this man, hear this woman that went off, yes, Courtney, with her three children in tow, married a drummer, and had a baby. And so the fact of you and her ever getting back together is null and void. And I know it's sickening. But this I have to say to you. You had three lovely kids by her, two boys and one girl, okay? So enjoy that. She's never gone. You made a big mistake, and I understand a heartache if that should be your problem. Start eating. You don't look good. Put the picture up here of him. He doesn't look very well. And because of that, I just got to go in and see what's going on with my boy Scott. Was such a handsome man. Barely. See? Money don't fix everything. No. Here you see all these rich people. And along with that, we see Chloe got a nose fix. Yes. It's a little plumper, a little fatter. But she said, I'll take anything. That broken piece of cartilage I had sticking out my nose. So it was going to pop through her skin. And just to think she had to walk the earth like that. And then don't forget about the young baby. See, it's catching up with him. All of it is catching up. All of the things we've done, everything we've done that was wrong or the things we're doing, even the body is crying out with those people. Chloe's nose went bonkers. Kylie, I don't know what's wrong with Kylie, poor Kylie. And Kim going mad. And then we have poor Scott Disick not eating. Please don't emaciate yourself, Scott. You're such a good looking man. Prayers going up for Scott. They're going up for him. Because when you stop eating, that's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing when you can't eat. Yes. It's a terrible thing when you can't eat and you're not sick and you don't even know what's wrong with you. You just don't have an appetite. That's a terrible feeling. And here he is not eating. And I'm sure it's because he just don't have an appetite. You know, you should see a doctor, smoke some, smoke some weed, get an appetite, Scott. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. There's a lot of beautiful women that would love to have you. Get yourself together. I think you better let it go. Look like another love TKO. Let it go, Scotty. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to pick for him. Yes, I'm sitting here trying to think of that. All right. Uh, What's the new one? I don't know. Oh, it's a long. Okay. Sorry about that. You're so I'm quiet around here. You hardly hear anything. When you hear a plane, you be like, when you I, hear what? When you hear a long, you be like, 
Yeah, that is true. It's okay. it's so quiet back here that any loud sound. At morning, loud. noon, or night. Yes. It's kind of lonely though. Even though you're around people, it just feels so isolated all the time. That definitely is. Um, what about <clears throat> the tower, maybe, for isolation? I mean, I'm not sure if he's really isolating himself. No. I'm going to just lay out cards, and if something pick, you do the same. Okay. Here we go. We're going to pick. I don't know. I'm just going to pick cards and just see. Um, how about the moon? <laughs> what about the heart? Okay, the heart works. Because his heart is sick, allegedly. How can you stop the sun from shining? It's the number of the heart. And make, I, forgot, I don't even know the words to the song. It was sounding good in my mind. How can you mend a broken heart? That doesn't have, that, that is so wrong. I need to be quiet. Hurry up, baby clone. Let me go ahead and lay it out. So we got a heart. We have 24. We have 39, which is dice. Uh, I don't we have 39. Oh, rats. Okay, we have the um let me run, let me let me do this all over again. Let me take out what you don't have. Okay, when I name it and you say you don't have it, but we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna just do it here and I'm gonna shuffle it up because I saw some wicked cards and I didn't like it. So Okay. I'm gonna just do three shuffles. I'm going on. Yeah, for real. Ready? Yes, I am. We have the, we have, what is this again? The garden? Yes, the garden. They also different. That's 20, the garden. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just going to lay yes, them out. Go. I have the beautiful, classy woman. Okay. And the corner. Got you. The clover. All right. Jeez. The tower. All right. Oh, how fitting. I was thinking of the tower earlier. The magnifying glass. Which I do not have. The oh, pelicans. Or what are these? Pelicans? The storks. Storks. Oh, yum, yum. Roses. Okay. And storm. Okay, oh, else? nope, nope, that, that, that storm. Oh, that, that really messed my mind up for a second. But anyway, yes, that storm, okay. that's a number six. And the last card is anchor. Anchor, mm -hmm. got you. Bottom card, child. All right. And the top card would be... Owl. So the top card is an owl. The bottom card is a child. Are we ready? Yes. So you are. we got them. Here we go. Let's take. Let me take a look and see what I'm working with here. Let me see what I'm working with. Scott, this is about Scott. How we doing, Scott? We how we doing? How are we doing? Well, in the past, in the past, I have to see it. You, you see it because we can make go in, babe. I think I'm ready. I think I see it. In the past, I think when I see the beautiful woman, when I see the beautiful woman and then I see the garden and I see the roses, this was somebody who he loved and who loved him deeply. And when I see the garden, it shows me that their love was displayed to the world. The world was enthralled with their love affair. Everything about them was exposed that could be exposed within reason. And yet the world fell in love with them. The ups, the downs, the ends, the out. 
of this tumultuous love affair. And now allegedly he finds himself, Scott, in the middle of loss, in the middle of regret. And as I was thinking to myself today, I was saying, what is the big deal? They've been married for a year. Is it has been a year or a little over a year? I'll check. Or two years, baby, go get that info. I will. I begin to say, I know what it's like to have a broken heart. But what I don't know what it's like to really break somebody's heart, drive them away, do gross things, just been absolutely inconsiderate, immature, and foolish to do this to yourself. And now regret the fact they're gone. They've been married since May of 2022. So what are you talking about, sweetie? Courtney Kardashian, sorry, Courtney Barker and Travis. I was asking about how long have they been broken up? Scott Disick oh. and Courtney. Okay. And so I was trying to figure that and I and I I can't relate, but I can relate to sadness. And sometimes when your heart is broken, some people just don't eat. I'm one. When you're sad, you don't eat. Some people eat. Some people, nothing to stop them from eating but sickness. But me, I can't eat when I'm sad or when I'm depressed. I just, I just don't have an appetite. Baby Cone is the same way. Yes, they've been divorced for nine years. Scott and Courtney never been married. Sarah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sorry. well, they've been broken up since 2015, so they've been broken up. For yeah, but years. they have been off and on since then. Oh, okay. Well, it said Courtney and Scott split for good in 2015. I don't believe that at all. Okay. Mm -mm. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Right. But um, they've been broken up. And he was still in the life, still in the pictures, in their life, everything. I do not believe that they've been apart. But what did that make that nine, nine years? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. Mm-mm. I don't believe it. You could tell me four. You could tell me five. But nine, I don't know. I have to look back on that. So with that being said, I picked Fenner because there was a Stephen King movie out of a, of a man that had a gypsy woman. And she was very sad because he wouldn't do right by her. And so she went to, but she put a curse on him. And she went to the, the doctor. I mean, she went to her father. And her father, they put this curse. So he did the wrong. He was an obese man. In other words, he was obese, big, robust. And they put a curse. And the curse is because she's just little poor, little gypsy woman trying to make it. He's trying to hustle her after he did some damage to, I don't want to tell you in case you want to see the movie. Uh, it's an old movie. It's back in the 1990s or something. And, um, and she, they put a spell on him and the spell was thinner. Anyway, that reminded me, just like Kaiser so say, remind me of P. Diddy. Well, this movie thinner remind me of Scott when he was robust, when he was thick, when he when he had it all, when he was in the heyday, when he had all the love, everything, and he squandered it. He treated it like nothing. And now he's under the curse thinner. That's what I meant by that. But here this man have a children by her, you know, and even though he's getting sound wisdom, he is. People are talking to him and trying to get his head together. But he's being, it's difficult because he has to live with this. So one of the things that Scott's going to have to do is forgive himself and move on. And that may take a year just to do that. But you got to forgive yourself and you got to move on and get some counseling and use it. However, I see in the present, I see that things are not going so bad for him. It's a little bit of good, a little bit of bad, but I see that he's under a, a spell of depression. He just seemed depressed. Some, you know how you have good days, you have bad days? It just seems like he goes through moods. And I think it affects him. However, in the present, I see this, 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 uh, like he's separated himself. But then I see, 
I see he separated himself. But like he just only want to be alone with his kids. And he's anchored. He's anchored in his life. He's not the he's not the Scott that we used to know. It's like he's growing up. He's a man now. And he's looking back on his ways. And he's getting sound counseling because I could see the owl. So he's getting sound counseling. Overall, I think this is a case of somebody living in the past or what was, because the overall, the cards don't seem bad. It seemed like he's living a good life with his kids. With some, I guess when you get depressed, you're living. I understand that you're living, you're going, you're doing your day-to-day -day thing, everything. You're doing everything, but you got a cloud over you all the time. You know how it is when your heart's been broken or you're sad or you're homesick, you know, and it's nothing you can do. It's just nothing. And you just stuck, but you got to breathe and live through it and know that it'll pass. This is where he's at. What do you get, baby crone? Yes, um, I see something very, very similar to you. Looking okay. at the very top, we have the woman, and of course, that woman is going to re represent Kourtney Kardashian. Mm -hmm. That's and, in his past too. Mm -hmm. Yes, and maybe he's looking back at the moment mm -hmm. when he was with Courtney. It was like, man, that was a chance. Uh, that was like a really good opportunity of my life that I just let slip by me. I was such a lucky man at the time. And no, I don't mean to cut you off, but when I go on the angle and I go to the heavens, it always ground back to earth. That here I see the anchor where she had grounded him. She helped make him be the man he is today. Him, her, and her family. I just wanted to say that. Go ahead. Yes, and now looking at the tower in the future, mm. he's isolated himself because maybe he's regretful of not taking the opportunity to appreciate Courtney when he had her. And here's the tower here is in the upper. For me, this is my right. The other hand is for my left. So the hand, this is my less dominant. This is my dominant. And you see, this is where he is. But when you go to the right, you see in the remiss and in the past, you see flowers. He didn't give her her flowers like he should when he was with her. Go ahead, baby. Come on. Yes. And looking at the next row, we have the garden. So therefore, he's in the, in the past. Mm -hmm. He's very, um, in the past. Maybe he was too public, too out mm -hmm. there instead of being more home with his family. He was young. He's yes. still handsome. But if he keeps not eating, he's going to start looking like a skeletor. And he don't want that because he, he is a good looking man. Scott, pull it together, baby boo. Please. Scott Disick, I speak to the universe. Pull it together. You have children. If you want to die too late, you got children. Believe me, not eating is not the way to suffer. Go ahead. Yes. And next with the heart in the middle, we see that he has all this love mm. and next to next to that love is the stork, which represents the kids. Yeah. So maybe he wants to put love into his kids or maybe right. put attention into his kids. Mm. Because I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say maybe because it just reminds him of Courtney and his love for her. Yeah. So what do you think about his mentality? What do you get an over sense of his mentality? Because for me, it didn't look bad. Oh, no, his mentality um, definitely seems like he's depressed. That he suffered with some bouts of depression yes, here and there. Yes, because it's definitely the clouds that tell me that. Mm, However, he yeah. does feel anchored with his kids. They yeah. hold him down. Because they hold him to the past. Because he, the anchor's here. He, this is the one link he has. That's his love. That's his love as the kids. And when I look at every four corner, from this corner to that corner, you see he, he was anchored with her. And from this corner to that corner, you see he's still anchored, but he it's a remembrance of roses. Like she was the best that ever happened to me and I messed it up. And now somebody is with your wife. Somebody is making love to your old lady while you was out making love. Okay, I don't know yeah. what's wrong with me. I'm well, saying the, that. Right. Well, I think those was the wrong words, though. <laughs> and so we had the kid child card also pop up on the side. Yes. With the owl. And the owl could be maybe he's... Wise counseling. Yes. But I know that his children keep him anchored. 
And that's what he got to focus on. And I think he does. I think he's just going through a slump, but he'll get over it. I think so. I hope so. Yes, are we ready to flip over? Yes, we are. Mm. Oh. What you have? The lilies. Okay. And I have the boat. So this seems like to me that this is moving on. He's going to move on with this. This is a moment. You know, and especially now people's talking about it. He's going to hear it. And if the Kardashians don't know, because he's close to them, because I see him as a Kardashian. So um, I think that they're going to deal with this because they don't want stuff out like that. I mean, it seems like their house is falling apart. You have this, you have, you have Tristan, you have Chloe knows, and you have Kylie. Yikes. Uh, you got a lot going on. You got Kim mental. Yes, in North. You got North rebellious. Why don't they just let her go to her father? You don't have to do no paperwork. Just let her go stay with her father for a couple of months. That's what I would do. I don't need to put the court into that for you to go live with your daddy. You know, if that's where you want to be, be. And then I get to see you like, like every other weekend or, you know, we'll work all that out. What do you think? Yeah. Don't make it difficult. Shoot. Do easy. Do what to do with people don't have no money. Go ahead, baby. Come on. Yes. Um, that's pretty much it. Well, the lilies is another flower showing up. Mm -hmm. So therefore, this is this is gonna be positive for him. He's just mm -hmm. gotta stick it out, remember the beauty of it, and don't let his mistakes take the joy out of life. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to do one card, and what I want to know is. Is Scott Disick health okay? Is his health? Mm. No. No, it's his health. And the last thing, I don't know if Scott had that hip fixed. He had an accident and he hurt himself. And I'm sure something's going wrong with his health, guys. Something's going on with his health. That's what the card says. Something's going on. And whatever it is, it's something he's working on and it's something that gives him pain. And maybe that's why he's not eating. But I don't know if Scott had, um, I mean, that card reminded me of Scott having something wrong with his back. And I remember now that he was saying that he wasn't eating then because of the pain that he goes through. But I thought he had surgery. I don't know because I think he was really afraid of that. However, I don't know if that's what it is, but this card showed up. So there was some underlying thing going on. This man is in physical pain as well. What you pick? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What you have to say about that? Oh, yeah, you know, what I have to say about that is, is it clearly shows that there's something wrong yeah. with his health. His health and the yeah. car, and like you said, the Kardashians truly are allegedly falling apart right before our eyes. Right before eyes, as I said, baby, come. Do you have a question? Um, my question is: Will Scott find peace within himself? Yes, he will make peace with himself. Yes. And that ailment that Scott has, will it will he get it fixed? Is it fixable? You can tell me that. Is it fixable? Is it fixable? Is it fixable? Okay. Yes. I see a king of cups. Yes, it is fixable. It's fixable. He's strong. It's just a moment he's going through. So yes, it is fixable. Not without turbulence. Because we see this king on some water. And that's an emotion. So don't, that's not, I mean, when I see the cups, that doesn't mean that it ain't going to be no turbulence or no rough time. It just seems, it just saying that this is a season. But in the end, he'll pull it together. But like I said, things change like the tides. We'll revisit this. If I hear anything about him in another two, three months, I will read on him again. But he's somebody, baby, Cone, that I want to come back and check on. Okay. All right. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed our reading on Scott. This, oh, I'm sorry. Yes.
Don't forget to remind them, 4 p.m. tomorrow. I forgot. 4 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the Kardashians. We're going to be talking about Denzel Washington and Cat Williams and Oprah Winfrey and 50 Cent. And we're going to the color industry purple, plant the is. industry plant. We're going to be getting in it and something else. What else we're going to be talking about? We can also talk about Taylor Swift. Oh, and do you want to? Did you want to revisit the topic of um, alpha females and? Men. Yes, we could talk about all of those things. So we, this is a time that we could talk about everything that we went over this month. And we're going to give a brief thing when we go to do our opening before we open up the line. So we're going live, but we're going to set the stage and you could talk about any of the topics that we mentioned. You don't, you could just voice your opinion and what you feel about it. I hope you join us. Don't leave us here to do it all by ourselves because you know we will. And with that being said, thank you for joining us. We so enjoy entertaining you. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Sunflowers. <laughs>